Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Time. This week we're gonna do something a little bit different. Something that I'm calling... Yeah, so toys in the attic, as it says. It could be toys or it could be memorabilia, some treasures really that I found in the attic whilst I was doing out the studio. So I've got three boxes. One's a very large box and then two smaller boxes. So we're gonna do the big box first. Okay, so uh, that's the box. See, you can barely see me now, <laughs> but that is the size of the box. So I'm just gonna pop that back on the floor and just pick things out. <laughs> Okay, so as we're going through this, I'd like you guys to get involved as well. These are all toys from the 80s and 90s and early noughties. So if you've had any of these, I want to know. Um, I want to have a little chat about it. What did you enjoy about them, etc, etc. So first thing, we're going to dive in. <laughs> and we got this Jurassic Park. A T Rex, he kind of still opens his mouth, but yeah, I remember this came. Um, I had this for Christmas one year, um, and a whole set the um, the car, um, a lot of dinosaurs in the visitor center that was my main thing that year, really. Um, and it's great, it's brilliant considering that um, I'm quite scared of velociraptors when I was a kid, love them now. But yeah, so it's got speakers in the bottom, so it must have done the raw. Um, but no, perhaps I've taken the battery eyes out. Who knows? So let's dive into the next one. Oh, another T Rex. So this one has um, a section out uh, which you can pull out, and it was battle damage. You could fight with other dinosaurs. It's like the feel, it's like the rubber field, but it like it feels good. It doesn't feel plasticky. It's like Rawr. but yeah, great. I love the little stamp on the side. Uh, JP06. Alright, so let's keep with Jurassic Park. So we've got a triceratops. Now this is my friend Andrew's favourite. He loves the good triceratops. Um so uh, yeah there and again this has got battle damage i don't think this is the right ratio but um would this be more yeah that'd be more ratio to it okay moving on <laughs> action man the greatest hero of them all Okay, so um, he's got a mixture of clothing. Um, I remember I had quite a few different action men across the years, and I had like the clothing bundles and stuff. So, but yeah, so this is my action man. Is he gonna? Because I used to put like face paint on. No. Oh, he has. A speaker in his chest and battery pack on the back. So what did this guy do? Oh, wait. Uh, the button doesn't do anything. Can't remember him talking, but there you go. Right, let's put his clothes back on. So yeah, so next to it then you have some more action man clothing. So this is the VR jumpsuit. Um, <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. It's like, why has he got a V? I remember it came with like a head and a hat and a visor and stuff. And then this is just a jumper for him. What we got here? Oh, right. Okay, so this is from um, the noughties. This is Rogue from the. Oh, wow. Um, this is Rogue from the X-Men film, the first one, and on the back you can see, I don't know whether you can see it there, but um, it's got three uh, silver things, and what it is, is you push the, and then spikes come out for when uh, Wolverine stabs Rogue, so that's quite cool. 
Yeah, I love collecting these. These are probably the last toys I was buying for the sake of buying toys instead of buying collectibles. 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 But, yeah. Okay, some new random bits. Um, I think, yeah, so these are to go with the Magneto that um, goes with the Rogue and the X-Men Naughty Stars. I'm gonna put them to the side so when I, if I find them, then we'll have a look. Oh, okay, so that goes with Rogue. That's her little coat that she wears in the film. Cool. Okay, going back with X-Men again, and ah, uh, the light doesn't work. This is Cyclops, um, so his visor is not on. Hopefully, it's somewhere in this box, but who knows? But uh, yeah, I like I love the costume and stuff. And I love the line in the film. It's like, so what do you want? Yellow spandex. Um, but yeah, so it's got a little button on the back, and his eyes did glow red. All right. Okay, there's Storm with a broken arm, it seems. What the hell? All right, so she's supposed to be like, oh, she like flies up. Look at the size of those heels. How can you save the world in those heels? Oh, wait, what's this? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Action chop. Brilliant. Love it. So I'm just gonna dive in now and grab a lot of stuff because there's a lot of little things here. Ah, okay. Ah, what were these called? I know they're droids, but I can't remember what the little bike things are called. But yeah, oh, that's pretty cool. I think this one is going to have to be cleaned up because a lot of these are very dusty. And then put it on display behind me, I think. Yeah, cool. Random bit of Lego. I <laughs> got a little tiny X Wing here. Great stuff. Oh, it's Sebulba's Pod Racer. Okay, so it's missing. What's it missing? Did it miss an ending? No, it's not. There we go. So, well, it's obviously missing Sabulba, but <laughs> yeah, there's Sabulba's pond racer. Cool. Alright, diving in again. Oh, alright, we got two different things. Let's put that side. Ah, okay, so this is Bionics, um, I believe they were called. So this is the snow guy, because he's got little snowshoes and this little whatever they call that. <laughs> and then this arm that doesn't really move. And he's got his little visor. I had a few different ones of these. I think they were different elements and stuff that we had, so yeah. Oh, you turn that. Ah, so you, you twist it. Is this connects? It must be. I think it's connects, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, okay, so yeah, um, I believe this was a Power Ranger toy. Um, Bandai, yeah. So, this is a Zord, so it goes from a truck. So again, I never really watched, uh, was it Turbo, um, I think the one was with the cars, um, I watched the original one, um, but then I collected these because they were kind of like um, combiners in Transformers and stuff, so yeah, very basic toy, uh, you've seen me put it into a car, and then this then, actually with that should go, yes, like that down and then it's a leg so we put this one on the side and see if we can build the megazord all right i'm gonna pull this out it's buzz <laughs> now i wish i brought this down 
um, when I was building Buzz because it would have helped with proportions and what everything was looking at. Does it work? Oh no! Oh well, what about the wings? They should do because it should be just springs. Yeah! <laughs> Brilliant. If you ever go to um, the uh, Disney store, uh, I remember speaking to one of the cast members there and I just said about there was a Toy Story bag. I was like, oh yeah, I have a Toy Story bag. And then they went into full like Disney zombie mode. Um, I don't know, it was like they were possessed. And they were going, did you know that Buzz Lightyear was this most like, selling toy in history? Blah blah. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, I had the original one. Yes, it sold. Blah blah blah. And I was like, okay, right. You're not really human. <laughs> But I love this toy. I did actually like to take this and my Woody to bed and cuddle it when I was a kid. Great stuff. And what I've just seen is his little friend. Oh, and I've scraped into his foot my name. Um, and I've written in a pen on that one. Yay. That to the side. That probably get kept out as well. Okay, so a couple more of these Zords. So we've got the Yellow Rangers here, and this looks like it mustn't be Turbo because these look like well, this it's a like Scoopy tractor thing, whatever it's called. Uh, so that goes like that. Pulls out. Megazord. Well, Zord. And you put that down, boop, boop. Um, so now we have two legs. And um, also, I found these arms. So they go in together. So like, oh, go in. How you do go in? Wait. There you go. Back when transforming ties work simpler to understand and it's a little ambulance for the pink ranger because it's got the pink and i was gonna say white ranger it's like that doesn't really make sense the white ranger i'm not gonna turn into a zord let's put back into the arms so they'll be ready for us to make the mega zord if we find all the bits and bobs There we go. Okay, so next, ah, oh, cool. So this is one from the 80s. We have an Ed 209 with additional stickers, <laughs> which I would have put on as a kid. So yeah, this is really cool. And this, let's pull that up. And used to put, um, don't even have like the cap guns and stuff. Put those in there. Um, so then you used to be able to go, Bam, 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 it's gonna make it sound like it's like pro shooting. I've got this American flag sticker on you. Can't remember why, apparently. Probably like said, um, oh yeah, this is a good guy, he's from America. Um, and some sort of sticker with a green fist, I don't know. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm gonna try and clean him up a bit. And this is another one to go in this. Okay, so we're gonna go grab same things again. Alright. Okay, so here is Magneto. Oh, he's got another one and as you can do his arm. Oh he did the mash. He did the monster mash. <laughs> and alright, okay, this is put his cloak on. Because he wears it quite stylish, doesn't he? Oh, <laughs> it's doing its own thing. So yeah, so it came with like this busted up bit of metal. Like it goes around Wolverine, I think. Who knows? But yeah, that's Magneto. And here is Wolverine now. So I think, yeah, I think that went around Wolverine. Like in the end of the film. Has he got anything? Oh, 
he does some exercises. <laughs> he goes back and forth. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, that face is so happy. All right, and then we have some Wolverine trousers, which I know these are for Mystique, because you can change Mystique. And I don't know what's happened to this guy. <laughs> uh, oh, so you twist him up. Oh, and he pops out. He's a bit <laughs> deflated. All right, okay, next. Ah, okay, so we have um, Major Darn West, so Matt LeBlanc's character in Lost in Space from the film. I think this was out in 2000. Um, used to love it, love the film. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. This does have a helmet and it should have a gun as well. And I think it came with one of the alien spiders. So. Right, we're about halfway through the box, guys, so we're getting it. Well, let's carry on with um, Lost in Space. This was Wes is a bubble fighter, and he's in there, not quite in his seat. For some reason, he's got a gun in his hand. <laughs> Weird. All right. Uh, oh, no, it's a bit squished. Oh, I love this. This is like a weird design for a ship, but it's pretty cool as well because it like turns around. It's a pretty cool toy. And then this ejects out as well. Yeah, oh, I like that. Bit bummed out. This bit damaged, but oh well. That's what happens when you shut them in a toy box. All right. Okay, so this is a C-3PO. Uh, Star Wars playset thing. Ah, okay. So this is a bit random. Um, it's got the cantina, and then it's got like, the Millennium Falcon in the hangar there, which makes sense. It all makes sense. Um, <laughs> but it's got Lars. Um, is it Lars Owen? Um, Uncle Owen, or Owen Lars, oh, something like that. Um, in it, I don't remember him being the cantina, but yeah. And then in the little door, I don't know whether you could see, you open it up, and you've got the stormtroopers inside. Cool, I'm gonna pop Lars or Owen, whatever his name is, back in there. I'm gonna put that to the back. And, oh. Right, this is always where I thought the bubble fighter um, was based off the B-Wing fighter. So this is flight mode, and then when it puts it attack falls and attack or falls into attack position, it goes like that. And I used to love this little B-Wing. I used to play uh, Rebel Assault, and you could play a B-Wing in that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Diving back in, we're gonna grab a few things. Alright, okay, let's put that aside. Okay, so this is the midsection of our Megazord. Uh, it's a police car, you can kind of see that. I'm not gonna change it, I'm gonna put it aside so we can have a look at that all together. So, I think we're just missing the head for that. Hmm, okay, I hope we can move Magneto's little things out of the way too. So we've got a TIE Interceptor. Oh, I don't know why the wings come in and out. There's no pilot, so anyone can steal it right now. We've got another little tiny Millennium Falcon. <laughs> we got some little attack helicopter from micro machines a little attack sub and a random machine gun or mini gun that attaches something who knows who knows oh, let's bring back so many mirrors uh, okay aha right. so i think this is the last thing we were waiting for for our Megazord. This is the top half. 
and the head section. Whether I got the heads is another thing. Let's we'll try and build this then, shall we? So, I'm guessing that bit goes there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, that shouldn't be on it. That looks like part of the Millennium Falcon with a satellite dish goes on top. A radar dish, whatever you want to call it. Right, so we've got our legs. Um, and that's open and that's open. So I'm guessing that one fits in. Always remember, this is always fiddly. Doing all that. Okay. Oh, why won't you go in? It might be this way, man. Yeah, that's more it. Ooh. Ah. Okay, we're almost there. And... Ooh. And... Ooh. And there we go. You just need the head and the sword or whatever it came with. But that's the big sword. Okay, so we're gonna move on and uh, some conscientious of the time. Just gonna grab loads a little bit. Oh look! It's Robocop! Um and he got his little spike, his data spike. Don't have his head, but the chest beats pops off and then you can change it for like a battle damage one which is pretty cool whether i still have that i do not know so yeah awesome like that and got a little snow trooper and an a wing with its feet oh, it's not taking these out i don't really want to put them back in and then the micro machines tank i used to have lots of little um army tanks and planes and things like that right i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that quits for this episode so i think we're gonna have probably another two of these because i'm still about halfway through this big box and i've got two more small boxes to go through so with that being said till next time